People who haven't integrated the shadow at all are naive. And you can tell that when you look at them and you can tell that when you talk to them. And because they're naive, they're often resentful as well because they get taken advantage of. Competent and dangerous? Mm. Why dangerous? Because it's the alternative to being weak. And weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high schools, they're weak. How is it good to be dangerous? Because it makes you formidable. And life is a very difficult process. And you're not prepared for it unless you have the capacity to be dangerous. That's the alternative to being weak. And weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high schools, they're weak. They're weak. And life is a very difficult process. And you're not prepared for it unless, unless you have the capacity to be dangerous. In, in the martial arts sort of way, which is they're dangerous, but they don't have to be, they don't have to use it because their presence radiates implicit potential for havoc. And you give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay. It's necessary. What the hell are we going to do without men? You look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up, these men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets, working on the sewers, they're up on the power lines in the storms and the rain, breaking themselves in half on a regular basis, making sure that everything that always breaks works. They're keeping this impossible infrastructure functioning, this thing that works in a miraculous manner. They work themselves to death. Toxic masculinity, that appalling phrase. I like men a lot. I mean, I have nothing against them. I think they're great. It's going to get me in trouble with all the women, but I think that women, they make unreasonable demands on men and they don't make reasonable demands of themselves.